guys, welcome to my new vlog. My love so well, please kill me, baby. My love so well, please give me a sign. My love so well, please give me a sign. So vlog is something I've always considered possibly doing. I've had people request for me to vlog, but I was like, well, if I vlog, what would I vlog? And how often would I vlog? I recently got back from Siesta Key, Florida. I was on a family vacation there. And while I was there, I had the opportunity to meet up with some really cool people and made some new friends. And if you follow me on any of my social media, especially Instagram, because I love Instagram stories, you kind of see what I do like with my guitar tutorials and then just kind of pieces of my personal life. And so uh, while I was in Florida, I actually met a subscriber for the very first time. Is this in, I don't, I feel like this is not in focus. See, I already like failed at this vlog. I need to be in focus. Is that good? I feel like that's a lot better. And I'm gonna be sharing that experience in a separate video. So there'll be like a separate vlog for that and you guys will get to see what happened. But uh, Chris, if you were watching this vlog, Chris was the person that I met. Um, and I don't wanna give too much away of what happened that day because it was really awesome and that needs to be saved for a separate video. But Chris, I had an amazing time with you that day. I could not have imagined a better way of meeting and hanging out with the subscribers. So thank you for making my day amazing and so much fun. And I hope that I did the same for you. So while I was talking to Chris, I got some really cool insight because you know he's an audience member. And so I kind of asked him like his opinions and he said that I should start vlogging. And I was like, do you think people would really watch me if I vlogged? He's like, heck yeah. But he suggested that maybe I should show kind of behind the scenes, like how I put my tutorials together and what I do. and parts of my daily life. And he also mentioned that he really likes when I show my cats on Snapchat. And so I was like, I can put cats in my vlog. So if, if, if you guys want cats, I've got two of them and they're probably gonna be my vlogs all the time because I, I can't get enough of my cats. They are a huge part of my life. So get ready to see a lot of cats. So today I'm gonna be getting my breed love summer ready here. Ooh, that doesn't sound very good. She just needs some love. This is gonna be her spa day today. So we are gonna take these strings off, these old strings, and we are just going to polish her up. We're gonna give her a nice cleaning. I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys like why I haven't used my Breed Love at all in my winter tutorials. And the reason is kind of stupid. I mean, you guys are probably gonna think it's just like the laziest like thing ever. Uh, that's because she's She's got this wooden strap on her. And when I first got this strap, it was really hard to put on and take off um, because it's such a tight fit. And in the summer months, I'm standing in my tutorials all the time anyway, so I just like leave the strap on. But when I started teaching inside, I didn't need the strap anymore and I didn't want it to clank against the guitar and I didn't want to have to take it on, put it off kind of thing. So what I did was just use my other guitar that I don't have a strap on. And I know that's the stupidest excuse ever. It's just so stupid, I know. So we're just gonna take this off right now because now it should be fine. It should just pull right off. Hold on a second. I need to get this to work. I think I'm just pulling it the wrong way. I got it, it's off. And the strings of choice are the Diodario Phosphor Bronze Custom Light. They are 0.011 to 0.052 gauge and these are basically like my standard strings that I always use. And then I also have my trusty string winder with string cutters and it also has a pin puller at the end but this guitar, thank the lord, does not have any pins in it because that's just another, that's just another step, you know? It's another step. It's it's not terrible but it's another step. Oops, sorry. All right, let go. All right, so we are all set up here. So what I'm going to do first is just cut off all of these strings. That's a scary sound, right?
All right, we have her all stringed up. So now all I gotta do is tune her up. So I'm gonna get my tuner. I'm so excited. Fresh strings always sound amazing. So the thing about putting on fresh strings is that they are not gonna stay in tune right away. You have to give them a little bit of time. So they're gonna go in and out of tune, but I'm gonna try to tune them up best as I can. We're gonna get my string winder for this. We're right there, right there, right there. Almost, okay. I'm just gonna like, just slightly, there we go. We got it, we got it. We have our E note. All right, I got them all in tune at the same time. One thing when you're changing your strings is that you have to be really patient and you have to let your strings just stretch into place and adjust naturally because there's a lot of tension going on in here. So there's a lot of stretching and all of that going on right now because the, the strings are just new and they're adapting to their environment. So you have to let them just kind of give a little bit. So something I like to do to help that process a little bit is just kind of like pull at the strings just very slightly, just kind of wiggle them. And that kind of helps them stretch a little bit and kind of loosens them up. So it's gonna go, you know, out of tune obviously, but this is gonna help the process. So that's why I kind of do that in between. All right, I'm gonna let her relax over here. Now I'm gonna go eat some dinner. Thank you.